All right, coming to you live from Round Rock. I'm here with Amit Bhutani from our Linux and Open Source Group. How you doing, Amit? Good, Bob. How are you? Doing well. So you were just out at the Red Hat Summit in San Francisco, and you were talking about Ceph. What the heck is Ceph? That's right. I was at the Red Hat Summit, presented on Ceph. What is Ceph? Ceph is a distributed object store that uh, scales out pretty well. And it's a file system, actually. It is used most commonly in the um, context of uh, cloud and OpenStack. It integrates very well with Cinder and Swift. However, we also see now that it works quite well and scales out well for standalone storage needs as well. So speaking about standalone storage needs, uh, you and your team have been doing some benchmarking. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. So we've always had um, a connection with um, Red Hat Ceph storage in, in the context of our Red Hat OpenStack platform reference architecture. What we did here was to take uh, Red Hat Ceph 1.3 and try to create a white paper that uh, would create would, would, would contain information especially around capacity and throughput, throughput optimized type of loads both for standalone as well as for in the capacity in the context of OpenStack and so we did that um, using standardized benchmarking tools like CBD, Costbench, Shredos Bench and things like that. So uh, can you show us now the the test environment you used? Sure so we have the um, R, uh, the Dell PowerEdge R730 XTs, five of them, they're made up for our Ceph uh, node cluster. We chose three R, uh, Dell PowerEdge R630s that are made up for management uh, node cluster. And the clients that we used were the Dell PowerEdge r 20s We used 10 of them in varying, varying degrees of load. And then finally, we, uh, we used the Dell S404810Ds, which is one for the private and one for the public facing um, part of the network.